Okay, so we're back. <clears throat> what we're going to do is see if <clears throat> if I start the diatonic scale, let's say in E shape. If I take this diatonic scale from the second string, all right, what we found out and I'll just I'll just let you know the rule. I don't have to play it. I can play it, and then you gotta warp it up. Okay, so E warps into an A on the when you play a, an E pentatonic from the second string, it warps into an A. Now notice this time, it's not confusing. We're playing it from the second string, but the same pitch. So there's some legitimacy to what we're doing. Or here's from the third string. And you know that's going to become a D. So it becomes a fourth above the, the, the pentatonic shape for every string up you play it. So it's itself on the bottom string. And on the, uh, so E shape is itself on the bottom string, okay? This is pentatonically. Going to the first string up, you go a fourth of E is A, so it's going to become an e A shape there. And indeed, you have to warp up that E shape. So I knew those pentatonic shapes so well, I decided, is it going to work for diatonic? So what I'm going to do <coughs> is try the same experiment with the three of them, with the diatonic scale and for that we have to consult our new chart here <clears throat> so this is the diatonic scale I can cheat and just use use the labels right okay or we can go an S4L and then do an A and an E shape. So the S4L is going to be, let's, let's just show this, where that S4L is. So we should have these guys right up here. Here's our S4L. By definition, let, let's talk about these shapes for a second. By definition, the stack of four long is going to start on the E string shape. And by the way, the simplest uh, ones to look at real quick here is the the one, the S one, S one L's. The C shape is three four five. The A shape five six. The G shape six seven root. The E shape seven root two, and the D shape two three four. Just that. Just those little little scale fragments on one string. So a stack of four of them. This, these are them right there. This is this is E, C, G, and D right there. The stack of four is our S4L. The S4L is nice because it gives us our Locrian scale. You start on the seventh. In this case, what we're doing here, and we've got half step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, half step. So it's easy. There's your S4L. <clears throat> it, you can do it in any key from any string on the guitar. So if I started here and went, okay, we're going to hit a tuning warp though. So let's stay on. Let's stay below the tuning warp to keep it simple. So since root is the second note there, that was an S4L in the key of. Of um, F, and and remember, if I just did a pentatonic in F, okay, would we know that that's the root chord or the fifth or the or the fourth? I don't think so. Uh, we wouldn't know it. So uh, certainly, if we did an F triad. You don't know if that's F the fifth, 
f the fourth or f the root okay but if we do a diatonic okay now let's do that diatonic in e now this brings us back to how we're going to play it we're going to use this f4 f s4 l but uh s4 l so let's 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 cut to the chase here this is this is the this is the this is the deal here this is the way to look at it so it's not so big and bad okay it's gonna be an s4 l and then an s1 a and an s1 e just like that and by the way with an s4 l you got the top is gonna be four five six right uh, okay, that would be that would be with an S3 XL. Okay, we're not we're gonna get to that. By the way, today we're also gonna do the long patterns, um, but this is just an S4L here. So so we're playing an E shape. We're gonna do an S4L and then a five six seven root two. try that from here we'll get the same groove going I got it way down here now what if we started that diatonic from this second string here's your s4l what shape are we in now is the question all right, so looks like we lucked out. It became an A shape, even though we did we did in the diatonic we we hit the fourth, which is a D shape in that A shape. So let's try it one more time. This is the S4L from the second string E shape. Warp up right to that D shape, and then we have our we only have time uh, we only have strings to play the a shape there remember because we started from the second string <clears throat> and it did become an a shape certainly an a shape now included in that a we also had <clears throat> that e that um so it became an a shape so let me just show you something here uh, in the A box, which is right next door. And then we're going to go up. So included with that A shape, because remember we started the E shape from the second string. We've got 5 root 3 there. <clears throat> We've also got the D shape 4th and the E shape 5th. So here it is, 1, 4, 5, A, D, E. But this is in shapes now. And, you know, it, it can get confusing because when you're in the C shape, you don't go to F. You go to the E shape F. So it's C shape, E shape, G shape, but it's still 1, 4, 5. So there's your F there, root 4, 6. <clears throat> so starting from the second string, we're going to be on that A shape. Sorry, I'm all over the place. Here we are. We're going to be on that A shape there. But also included that we get, and these aren't lined up. This S1A, S4L, and S1A are how we, how we play that diatonic. These aren't vertically linked to, to the uh, letters down here. Okay, so this is cross, which means superimposed. So we have A cross, D cross, E, pentatonics. These are tripentatonic superimposed scales. Up going A, down going D. Back up on E. And then we get our our diatonic scale. Now let's use the formula. It's gonna be S1A, S4L, S1A. So it's it's an A shape. And then <clears throat> there, see we just used the, the patterns to do that. Now these are the modals. We'll get to that. So it it's been a successful uh, experiment that uh, the diatonic did uh, follow the rule. 